Yeah. Let's pop. No. Let me tell you why I gotta stop seeing what's popping. I was watching some of my old videos. And I was just seeing what's popping a bunch of times. I was like, oh nah. We gotta cut this. That's the what's popping is dead. It's done for. I hope you guys enjoyed it while I was here because it's done. Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Bonjour. Hola. Hi. Me how? What's up? For those that don't know me, I am Melanie, AKA Melly B or Mel. <laughs> okay, so you guys can obviously read the title of the video. This is how to reinvent yourself before 2023. Because let me tell you, I was thinking, Mel, New Year's is coming up. What are your resolutions gonna be? And then as I was thinking about our resolutions, I was like, Mel, why are you gonna wait until like a month and a half from now to start these resolutions? When you can start them now, like I know what I want now. So go ahead and just do it. Right? So I'm like, I know there are other people out here probably thinking like me, like, I know what I want. I should just do it. So I'm putting y'all on game on how to just do it. So yeah, like I said, this is basically how I plan on reinventing myself before 2023. The first thing I said is take time for yourself. So the same way you give energy to your friends, your family, your job, a drink, the blizzy, you got to take time for yourself. Take time to learn yourself, you know, find yourself, be with yourself, figure out what makes you, you. So at this time, we're basically going to be our own bestie. For me personally, I feel like that's pretty much what 2022 was about for me. I really took the time to just figure out who it is I was. You know, obviously, it probably could happen faster for you. You know, there's no time on it or anything but these are just some things thinking about so yeah just be your own bestie figure out what it is that you want because that's the next thing and you find out whatever it is you want write it down make a list of what you want who you want to be what you want to look like uh what you want to do what makes you happy all of that just write it out and really think even if it's something that just sparks your interest write it down because it could take you somewhere that you actually really want to go and you know you never knew you had interest in it because you didn't step take that first step so so in this point you're coming up with like your goals so this could be like for work or for school if you're in school um health and fitness your personal hobbies, your friends. So just write it all down. The next part I said is waiting is not an option. You know what you want, do it, period, point blank. There is no point in waiting, honestly. I feel like with New Year's resolutions, we kind of get stuck in that mindset. It's like, oh yeah, January, I'm changing my life. I'm getting it started. It's kind of like when everybody's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start working out. January, you start working out for like the first two weeks and you stop. <laughs> We don't want that. We want consistency. We want to stay consistent on whatever it is we want. We don't want to get into that mindset where it's like, oh, next year I'm gonna do this because I want it. And it's like, hmm, why not just do it now? You know what you want, just go for it. The next one I said is the social media detox very critical in the process and let me tell you why it's just really relaxing to get away from the internet for a minute i'm telling you i don't know what it is social media is doing to our brains but i'm not feeling it i like it to an extent but you got to do it in moderation babe. for me personally i have physically had to delete most of my social media off my phone and i put it like on my ipad you can catch me i be scrolling it be feeling like i'm scrolling for like maybe it's been an hour babe you've been scrolling for three hours this is not okay this is not good for you mentally i've heard people also talk about how sometimes when they get on social media and see other people's life they kind of get discouraged and we don't want that we don't want discouragement because someone else is living their life and just an fyi a lot of these people be faking it and you know, some people aren't faking it. And if you're not faking it, that's what's up. And if you just have a great life, that's cool. Love to see it. But don't get discouraged by other people's life. You have to realize that everything is about timing. Everything is about the right pieces falling into place for you. So don't get discouraged looking at other people's stuff. Yeah, don't get so caught up in social media that it makes you not go after things that you want. Now this, when I saw this, <laughs> I feel like this needs to be a word. Self care is a priority and it's not a reward. I cannot believe that people will have you brainwashed. I was brainwashed too, don't worry. You were not alone. To thinking that taking care of yourself should be a luxury rather than a priority. Like, the title self-care is literally the caring of yourself. Why should taking care of yourself be a reward for doing well that week? You should take care of yourself in order to do well that week. I think we have it backwards. I think it's also because we feel like you don't matter. 
as much as this or much as that. Like, I need to take my job more serious than myself. I need to take this more than myself. But you got to be backwards, babe. When you take care of yourself, the other stuff fall into place. I promise you. You must take care of yourself in order to do better for yourself. It will not work if you do not take care of yourself. Like things that I feel like are self-care for me, the literal act of making my bed. Yeah, I'm talk touching my bed because you guys are on my bed. Finding clothes to wear, self-care for me, babe. Baking, going to the gym, reading, napping. Let me tell you something because people will be trying to make you feel, oh, why are you napping? You're gonna nap? No, if you are tired, stop saying, oh, I can do this for 10 more minutes. No. No, babe stop what you're doing take your toe to bed please go to sleep take your nap it'll refresh you in ways that you don't even realize my sunday movie marathons i'm very excited they, it starts in like an hour and 10 minutes i'm very excited to watch my movies tonight just little things that take care of you will really help you be better for yourself stop putting yourself on the back burner babe you are not the back burner you are the entire oven if the oven's not right nothing's gonna work you can't do things to the best of its abilities if you aren't taking care of you. You are the stove. Remember that you are the stove. And the last thing, super important. I actually wrote that right here. Super important part of the process. Don't have everything set in stone. And I'm gonna play this video because this video really absolutely changed my life. Repeat after me, I am good enough. I am good enough. I am proud of my life. Mmm. <laughs> Breathe into it. Breathe into it. Breathe in. Don't, don't, just breathe in. Honor it. Resistance is that thing saying, oh, don't worry about it. No, honor that. What did that voice say? What came up when you wanted to repeat that? I'm not going to be part of my life. Why? You know, I'm not where I thought I was going to be. So, f your plan. Why are both of you so goddamn cocky you think your plan is the best plan? Hey, it was a good plan. Why are you both trying to play God? You get that, right? This is all of you. This is a life crisis. Everyone's trying to play God. And again, I, whatever you believe in God or the universe, why do you think your plan is the best plan for you? What if there's a better plan? What if you're wrong? And what if part of that better plan mean, means things not going according to your plan? You've both been wrong before. Think of a life crisis. Think of adversity. That's what it is. It's when life doesn't go according to whose plan? Yours. It's like a kid. As a kid, do you like eating broccoli? Not always. And you're just eating your little ice cream and chicken nuggets, and someone's like, enough chicken nuggets. Broccoli. What does the kid experience? Ah! The same as an adult. Here's my plan. Life says, nope. No more chicken nuggets. Ah! Life crisis. How do you know that's the best plan? You don't know everything. You're not the universe or God. What if there's a better plan? You've all heard the saying, blessings come in disguise. Hey, you want the blessing? You gotta let it come to you in disguise. And then look back and be like, thank you for making me eat that broccoli. Hey, thank you, life, for feeding me broccoli as adversity. You are not God. You are not the universe. You do not know everything. Your plan is not the only plan. And also, who's to say that it is the best plan? So when things happen sometimes, it might not go in your favor. But don't look at it as like, oh, it's not working out for me. Look at it as, okay, this is where life is taking me. What am I going to do now? You can sit and be upset about life not working the way you want it to work or you can find a way to change it. You can find a way to make it, adjust it to what it is, something that you enjoy. The realest thing, I, I literally live by this, everything happens for a reason. Maybe when things aren't going your way, maybe it's reshaping your plan to make it better, to have a better outcome from you. Because honestly, your plan could have had you sending yourself to a, a spiral, to the bottom, straight up. I just said straight up, am I 30? <laughs>
but being that your life took a little detour your plans took a little detour it's probably making it better for you things that you didn't even realize you wanted for yourself or things that you couldn't even imagine for yourself so never look at a detour as a bad thing always just look at it as another opportunity to better yourself a word ain't it i am currently reinventing myself and it's lit i'm having a blast my guy i'm excited to see where life is finna go life is what you make it i feel like hannah montana has a song or something like that but life is life is what you make it sometimes i walk a little faster and okay i could sing those songs all day anyways um that's pretty much the end of the video so thank you so much for watching it i hope you guys got something out of this because Hey, I got something out of it and I wrote it. Uh, <laughs> if you liked the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, I'm sorry. Rewatch it. You missed something. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, definitely follow me at Melanie B. Griffin. Um, you can also follow my second Instagram account. It's Hooji by Mel. I just be posting whatever I want on that one. And then also follow me on TikTok because your girl be posting. It's at your girl Melly B because I'm your girl Melly B. TikTok is glorious. I love TikTok. It's like the best app. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching it and I love you with all my heart. All right. And I hope you guys have a great, amazing, wonderful, fantastic, 